Okay, so what we've done is we've we've cut the shoulders down ready for the tenon, so we're leaving that piece in. Um, sorry, we've ripped. So what we've done so far is we've ripped down the timber to form the tenon, and we're going to have to remove this piece as it's going to form the uh, cheeks. And then the tenon's left on this bit, and it fits into a slot. So we've cut the other side of the line. All right, we've cut always cut the waist side of the line. So we've had to cut the inside edge of that. And now we've got to remove this piece and trim it up. So we'll remove it with a coping saw and then we'll trim it up with our um, mortise chisel. chisel. Sorry that's taken it that's taken it out with a coping saw and now we need to um, just clean it up with a mortise chisel. So now we just need to clean that slot or that socket out with a mortise chisel and what I like to do is to clamp it over there like that. And we've got these at work now rather than those old G clamps. Let's get my mallet. Where's my mallet gone? Oh, oh there we go. We we'll use that one. All right. So we're just cleaning that socket out. All right. Always work from both sides. Don't rely on working just on one side. I'm just, you know, we said we put the, um, we put the, um, right, so we, so we said when we do the, our gauge line, the marking gauge line, we're left with like a V, so um, I'm just, I'm just cleaning that V. Or splitting that V. And turn it around the other way. So always keep all your fingers. I don't know how many you've got, I've only got 10. Um, but I've still got them. Um, always keep your fingers behind the chisel. All right, so just get it on the line, get it nice and vertical. Just pair down, and then again, just cleaning that. Let me show you. You see, there's a little bit of the line left in there. Can you see that? See that little bit of line? It's going to clean that back. sure that our socket is nice and clean in there. Yeah, it's all right. See it's coming through on the line. All right, sometimes there's a, a little bit in the middle, a little nick in the middle. It's just, just a little tiny bit to clean there that I can see that I'm not happy with. Glasses should have me, me readers on face mic, but now we're going to cut these uh, shoulders off. Now we can score those with a knife. Now, you know, if you're not happy using a knife, get someone to do it for you. I'm happy using a standing knife for this. And 
always keep the finger on there so it's going where I want it to. If you want to reduce any tear out when you're using the tenon saw, you can actually just knife that little bit as well to reduce tear out. All right. I may just go right the way across. And an old cabinet maker's trick. is to just chisel away form a little groove so your tenon saw goes into the groove and then you can be a mil or half a mil off the shoulder line you just clean it back either with your paring chisel or with the shoulder plane depending on what you're doing so we'll, we'll see how we go so like I said to you before we'll use the clamp like that and you can get your thumb under there guide your, guide your tenon saw make sure there's nothing in the way See what I will do for this bit. I will put my glasses on. Right. Yeah, I will put my glasses on. Okay. Right. So. While I've got it in the clamp there, I'm just gonna just gonna clean it up a little bit, just a little tiny bit. Back to that gauge line that we did. Shoulder's not bad. Like I said before, the, um, the tenon saw's a bit old. I did have a really nice one, about 12 inches long, but it's very old. It's in the shed and it's probably blunt. But when I was an apprentice, that's what we used. And we used to have to sharpen them as well. Sharpen our own tenor saws. So if you're doing this, you should clamp this, all right? You can do this with a, you can trim those um, tenons with a shoulder plane if you want. So we'll just cut that. So I'm just going to tell you what size this timber is actually. It's 44 by 28. Right. 44 by 28. Should you want to have a little practice on your own? Notice I've got, again, hands behind the chisel. Alright, first, first cut off the saw then. I think it's going to be tight. Yeah, just need to let you see where I've got a pin, pin back on the, just trim back on the lines there. Alright. So let's get our, probably a little bit too brutal for this, but we'll get our shoulder plane and do it. Just make sure it's set fine. Probably got to take half a mil off each cheek.
Okay, so where I've trimmed the shoulder, sorry, where I've trimmed the tendon, you'll see I've broken a bit out there. So to avoid doing that, what you can do is you can chamfer that bit off first and then work from that side and it stops break out, all right? But a quick corner bridle just needs a bit of trimming up. We check in there for square, all right? So that's your corner bridle. So relatively neat in there, look. Relatively neat in there. And yeah, so we'll try, we'll use the same bit of wood and we'll do a mitered bridle the other end, all right? Thanks for watching.